we found a new way for you to make decks in Clash Royale. Using the dual deck maker, clicking on an open card slot will give you three card options. And you will pick one, do this eight times, and boom, you have a new deck. But is this a viable way to make decks in Clash Royale? Let's find out. First deck, first card, give me something, ooh. These are actually all really good. Choose a distraction. How is the Goblin Drill a distraction or Skeleton King? Why do I kind of want to just click the Skeleton King? Because it's one of the best cards in Clash Royale. We lock in a champion. I think it's Skeleton King. Okay, choose Anti-Air. I'm liking the Firecracker. I'm also liking the Dark Goblin. I think I'm going to go lean towards Dark Goblin. It's funny I haven't even said the Executioner just because let's just not say his name. Let's just look at that like, disgusting face. <laughs> Dark Goblin. One of the best cards in Clash Royale. Simple. Let's just take it. We're just making a Goblin Drill Skeleton King deck. I'm, I'm down. Let's just go Goblin Drill. We could go for like something crazy. Isn't that the whole point of this is to make a deck that's never been made before? Make something. This is this is the future of Clash Royale potentially. So should we pick the... No, we're not picking the Golem. That's dumb. Let's not pick the Golem for the small spell. Zap isn't the greatest bar barrel doesn't really support our goblin drill so i think i'm gonna go arrows it's a little bit more versatile it has a better spread i think I, I think i'm gonna go arrows i think i'm gonna go arrows here and ooh, these big spells stink is there a world where we go freeze i think i'm gonna go freeze we have the the aoe choose a tower defender if we can get two cycle cards at the back end, I don't think I want P.E.K.K.A. here. Hunter and Dark Goblin, that's a lot of air defense. I think I'd rather the Bomb Tower and choose a mini tank. Okay, Fisherman, I don't think we need here. Dark Prince is great. Bandit's great. Which one I think is better in this situation? We already have the AoE from the Skeleton King. So let's go with Bandit. And then for the personal choice, do we go with Firecracker? I'm okay with Firecracker. It's annoying. It could still hit the cards that are played in, on top of our Goblin Drill, and maybe we can get a little bit of residual damage on the tower. I don't know what to call this deck, but it's a Goblin Drill Freeze Bridge Spam with Bandit? Probably not. It's more... May, may, maybe our brains are not developed enough to understand what we're looking at right now. Is it good? Is it bad? Let's find out. Here, he just used his Valkyrie on the left side. That's the best counter to the Goblin Drill probably in Clash Royale. So let's just go in with our Goblin Drill. Dark Goblin! Dark Goblin! Dark Goblin! Don't do him like this! Dark Goblin! Takes out Magic Archer! Gets on tower! Arrows come in! But he misses the Dark Goblin! That's why we said he's the best card in Clash Royale. And don't... He's so easy. So simple. Bandit on the left side too. Being able to defend a Valkyrie. Also being able to defend oh whoa, whoa, whoa. oh bad bomb tower placement but it should be totally fine here we'll go with the goblin drill we'll also go with the bandit i think and then if he plays anything let's just freeze it right oh we can't freeze that's that's a little bit bigger to freeze uh that's that's a that's a bigger lad look at the goblins goblin drill takes tower just like that and as long as mega knight doesn't jump on our tower we should be fine here bomb tower should be more than enough for this mega knight and just like that with 38 seconds left GG, well played. I don't know what we just played against. It was Hog Rider, Mega Knight. Maybe his deck's actually from the future. Maybe it's not our... It doesn't matter. Our deck, it's superior also. Our tower skins are superior. We're stronger. We're smarter. We're better. We're just better. We'll go with the Bomb Tower, just pulling everything together. Bomb Tower should be able to take out this Ice Wizard as well. And then let's go in with our Goblin Drill. Hopefully it gets in front of this Dark Goblin. Come on, Goblin Drill. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Dark Goblin's too quick. No! That's such a misplay. Oh, wait, what? Valkyrie at the bridge. Uh, hey, uh, sir. Uh, sir, are you there? You're supposed to defend the, the goblin drill. What are you doing? Interesting. I'm going to go with arrows. Hopefully we can get these minions as well. And no, we missed one goblin minions. Okay, not not the best arrows. It, it, I, I do miss spells. Everybody misses spells. If you don't miss spells, you're a liar. It's hard to miss arrows, though. I'm going to go with the drill here. Maybe we can get it down before this firecracker gets targeted. And firecracker takes out the minions. Also going to be able to take out this tower with the help of the goblin drill. You know what? Just keep going. Let's just keep revving up those friars. Let's just keep just attacking. Full out attack. I want the three crown. This deck is the future. We're better. We're smarter. We're stronger. That should be GG's. I think he gave up. Okay. I I don't think this deck is good. We might just not be going up against the best of the, the best right now. I don't think freeze adds a lot. I don't even think we you okay, let's try at least one game where we use the freeze. Oh, freeze. This is what we we're talking about. This is what we we're talking about. Freeze. Two goblins on tower. Stab. Stab. Okay, maybe a little too much there uh, i'm gonna go with arrows and then i'm also gonna go skeleton king up high it doesn't pull the valkyrie though oof 
that. Oh, we missed a, We missed another goblin? How did we miss the arrows again? How did we miss two arrows in two games? Does he have the hog rider back in cycle? I think I'm just going to play the bomb tower. No, I should not have played the bomb tower. Should not have played the bomb tower. Okay. I'm blaming that freeze. Ever since we played that freeze, we were just at such a deficit. Yes, we got a little bit of damage, but it just was not nearly enough. We should have. We needed so much more damage than that. Um, uh, he used his Valkyrie, which could be really good for us. Maybe. Uh, if our, this firecracker doesn't... Why did we play that firecracker so badly? Uh, freeze! 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 Oh, that's a lot of goblins. Not only that, firecracker takes out all the minions. Wait a second. Is freeze drill a thing? I, I don't think my big brain could have understand what we just made, but I think we just made the best thing in the world or the worst thing in the world. Wait, give, it, give me a sec. Okay, nobody from the future showed up in my room. So that means that it wasn't so bad where like a Terminator had to take us out. Is that going to be enough? I don't think so. Goblin's dealing a decent amount of damage. Let's go arrows on defense for the goblin barrel. We're going to go skeleton king up high. We're going to go with the, the, the bandit on defense. That's not going to be enough though. Or is it? Oh, it is going to be enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. He goes with the rocket. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket's not enough though. That's a good. No, it's not good. Oh, freeze. Why did we freeze so early? Uh, bandit. Um... We're going to go with the firecracker just in case he goes with minions or... Wait, we won. We did it. I mean, of course we did it. This is the best deck in history. But not so good that it's going to break the universe. And someone from the future has to come back and... And... Yeah. First deck, not bad. But everybody says the second is the best. First is the worst. Um, Those aren't small spells. They're three elixir. Small spells, two elixir. Medium spells, three elixir. Anything four and above, that's a big spell. That's what I think. Is that correct? Yes. Royal Delivery is like a sneaky good card. Arrows were really good last game. We could go with Royal Delivery and just start our deck a little bit more defensive. A lot of people say it's underrated. Let's go with it. Choose a distraction. Oh, I feel like this is where we got to pick the Skeleton King. It's just such a solid card. I think we got to take it. Okay, this is where it goes downhill. Inferno Tower maybe makes more sense just because it's one of the best air defenses in the game what if they only give us one air defense after the inferno tower and it's like a mega minion that's not gonna be enough against lava loon i'm gonna go with inferno tower here yeah i'm out i got nothing choose tower destroyer none of these cards really could take a tower mortar it's more of a defensive card giant just kind of sucks i'm gonna go with ram rider it's you got defensive capabilities offensive capabilities maybe we can pair it with a mega i don't know what we need in this deck yo this deck stinks a mini tank wait didn't we already isn't the oh no the skeleton king was a distraction a distraction no that's a that's a mini tank i'm gonna go fisherman it's my favorite card in clash Royale, and now i feel like an idiot i got nothing I, I don't know what we're doing right now. Is this the whole purpose of this whole deck building exercise, though? Testing the limits of Clash Royale and deck creation? Okay, not Freeze. Freeze is dumb. Freeze is dumb. Freeze is dumb. I think Lightning. I don't know why Lightning's just speaking to me more. Is it because it's in the middle? I don't, I'm don't. i picking Lightning. That stinks. Dark Goblin? Or Rascals? I kind of like Rascals. It adds like a little bit more like oomph to this deck. I already feel like I regret picking Lightning. Does anybody, everybody's probably yelling right now like, don't pick Lightning. Why did he pick Lightning? I'm going to go Dark Goblin. He was elite last time and... I think we all know where this is going, so let's just skip to the end. This deck is so dumb. Just because we, we're trying to actually make, we're trying to find new decks, I think we have to change this one to one of the other options. We should have like one reroll. And I think that's the re-roll I'm taking. I think we have to take to, just to make actually a deck. I know it looks dumb, but it's actually not that bad. I think I'm okay with this. I, I want to go freeze. It's a little bit more cheeky, but I think it could be more fun. I'm just going to go with the royal delivery here. And then I'm going to go with the fisherman to activate king tower against this hog rider. And we are bing, boom, bop. I can't think of a better start. I actually cannot think of a better start. We'll go with ram rider on defense here just to slow down this this hog rider does it get on tower no it doesn't let's go ram rider is elite and this is where i think we can go in with our skeleton king and this is where i think we can go in with our graveyard do we get the enough elixir in time because now not only does he have to do with the graveyard but then we could pop the skeleton king's ability hopefully oh no we didn't pop the skeleton king's ability oh no 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 i hate that oh this is not good yeah i saw that coming oh no this is not good Oh no, this is not good. Dark Goblin on tower. No, what just happened? 
happened? That push looks so, so good. And then we just didn't get the Skeleton King ability. I, what did he use on defense? I guess we needed too many. We had to use the freeze on the Skeleton Army. We had to use the... Oh, that was just... I, I think we needed more Elixir. We got a little too excited. I guess Triple Elixir would be the way it went to go in. We'll go with the Dark Goblin at the back. He's probably going to use the ability. And we're so late! What the heck is going on? I knew... Oh, okay. We're going in here. Okay, maybe we're not going in. Do we go in here? Dark Goblin's still alive. If Dark Goblin's alive, I think we gotta just go rev up those fries. We're not gonna go with the graveyard. We're just gonna go with the Ram Rider. Ram Rider's gonna get on tower. We need to get a little bit of this damage deficit back. And just like that, Dark Goblin on tower, Ram Rider on tower, Dark Goblin going to town. It's funny because these draft decks that we're making or these this, this new deck style that we're making, I would actually say is better than what's going on. Like what, what I'm seeing right now in this mid ladder nonsense, I, I'm pretty sure this is better. Uh-oh. Wait, let's go freeze here? Oh, 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 oh. Can we take the tower right now? Because we can just go with Royal Delivery to win this game. We can just go Royal Delivery here and just take out everything. Just give me more value. I need more value. Just a little bit more value. And then we'll go Fisherman on defense here. Royal Delivery comes in. Okay, that was a little, little late, little late, little late, little late, little late. Skeleton King comes down in time this time. And as long as the Golden Knight doesn't have his dash, we should be fine. Ram Rider on defense against the Baby Dragon and the Sparky. And just like that, GG, well played. I'm calling this deck the one punch. Oh, is it not over? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. The one punch KO, one punch knockout, one good punch, one good attack. And you just win. Having the graveyard, having the freeze, having the, the Dark Goblin, the Skeleton King, and the, the... You got a lot of options in this deck. And one good counter push. Bink! Knockout. You know what they say. Third time is the charm. So give me something good, mini tank. Oh, this stinks. I don't know what to pick. I think let's go Bandit. I think Bandit's safe here. Big spell, Fireball. It's probably still the best big spell. Let's go with it. Choose Tower Defender. I didn't realize a Goblin Hut would be considered a tower defender, but I guess we go with Sparky here. What are we making? Okay, um, let's go with... We're going Toxic, boys. Okay, Archer Queen for Anti-Air. I'm okay with that. Choose a distraction. Why do I kind of want to keep the Elixir low so then we can use as many Sparkies and Elixir Golems as possible? I think I like Electro Spirit. Small spell. Oof. How is Arrows in Royal Delivery a small spell? I think we're going Arrows here. And then personal choice. Dark Goblin has been the MVP of every deck we've played. Every time we play Dark Goblin, it seems to be good. But the Electro Drag... Okay, no, we're not picking the Electro Drag. Kind of, let's go Dark Goblin. Okay. It, what is this? I'm just going to Fireball, I think, here. And I think that should be... Ah, Baby Dragon's going to get on tower. Let's just go Sparky on defense. Let's try to build that big push. He doesn't have his E-Barbs in Cycle, which might be... I, I lied. He actually does have his E-Barbs in Cycle. How did that one not get pulled? How did we only pull one there? Oh, this stinks. Wait, we do have arrows, though. I like that. I like this a lot. You can't defend both these sides. It's Graveyard? Oh, that's on tower? Oh, Sparky's Elite! He's the best card in Clash Royale, and look what's going on. Look what's going on in that left side. Bandit all over that tower, bringing it down to 16, 20. That might be my new favorite number. I'm going to go arrows and take everything out. I'm scared. Uh-oh, I'm still scared. Uh-oh, I'm very scared. Okay, I have not been this scared in a long, long time. Um... Um, uh, E-Giant on defense? Is that good? Is that bad? Is that the best play in Clash Royale history? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to go with the arrows. He's going to freeze, I guarantee it. And then we're going to go with the Electro Spirit, and we're going to win this game. Just like that. Easy as that. I, I've been... I, I, I'm not a scaredy cat. I, I don't get scared easily. Double E-Barbs at the bridge? It scares me. Uh, we won, right? Yes, we won. Gee. The future of Clash Royale. It's here! Here, let's go with Dark Goblin up high okay that's really good and let's just go with fireball here and then let's also go with i was gonna go arrows but maybe it's too late yes yeah, too late oh it's never too late for arrows sneaky gets the musketeer gets the tower also gets the ice spirit that's gonna be a lot of damage and we might have just won this game oh yeah we just won this game is elixir golem good why does it kind of feel good what was the buff was it attack damage because it's been tearing apart towers these past two games is elixir golem good I need more research. I need to. I need to look at the the, the data. I'm a, I'm a guy, big data, big data guy. You know me. I love the numbers. I, I love geometry. I mean geog geology, ge geography. Is Elixir Golem gonna be meta? Does that mean Anaban's just gonna be number one in the world forever? 
Like, look at this. Look at the, what it's doing on the right side. Look at what it's doing. And look at it's still... Okay, wait. We're giving him a lot of elixir. Are we dumb? Oh, we're dumb. 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 Nope, we're not dumb. We're the best there ever was. GG. Oh, we three... Was that just the elixir golem that three crowned? Did a Sparky get a shot on that tower? Was that a full health king tower that went down to the elixir golem? He doesn't... He's not going with the... He's not going Pekka. Wait, Archer Queen turns around. Wait, Sparky survives. No, it goes down. It goes down. It goes down. It goes down. Can we get another ability here? Look how much damage his golemites are doing. Is he going to play more things? Because I, I would love to just fireball here. I think we just lost tower. Arrows aren't enough to stop this Pekka from slapping our booty. We should be able to win this game. With 50 seconds left, though, I don't think it's going to be enough time, sadly. What are we doing here? Hmm. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. Are we doing stuff? Oh, we were doing stuff. I don't know what we were doing. I wasn't even talking. I think I was just in the zone. I was just, you can't let me in my zone like Kanye. If you let me in my zone, oh, it's over. It's over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh, arrows? Oh, it takes off. Oh, we didn't even need arrows. Oh, that's when you know you're the goat. That's when you know you're the goat. Dark Goblin on tower. Archer Queen's gonna be on tower. There's a Sparky alive. There's gonna be bloops in a second. He doesn't have any elixir. He's dead. It's over. This game is... What did we just do? Why did this deck work? Is there someone from the future here to take extermi exterminate me? Because uh, I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now. We might have just made the deck that ends Clash Rail as we know it. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out this video over here. It's our newest video. I'll see you in that video. Subscribe! <laughs> Deuces. I'm a wanderer, 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 I'm a wanderer still. I'm still wandering. I'm a wanderer, wanderer, wanderer.